I'm coming back to you today again with another video and today it's actually going to be my first favorites video so I'm coming with you for the month of June this is gonna be my favorites for the month what I've been gravitating towards and I'm going to share it with you today so let's get started First of all, this is my favorite by far. I'm probably going to do a review on this soon. But the Kiss BB Cream. This is simply amazing. I'm wearing this almost every day that I'm wearing makeup. This is on my face because it's that amazing. The coverage from this is just simply amazing. And it is Kiss BB Cream on medium dark. And this is just what? 1.5 fluid ounces so it is normally it is more than normally I believe normally they're like one ounces and the coverage on this is remarkable like literally when you put it on it's so nice I wish I could show you so you can see it a little but the color and it's great and it's some moisturizing and good for your skin so this is my everyday that I am literally going crazy over so that is my first item that I'm loving for this month Next, I'm going to go in. I've actually got this foundation. I've been wearing it for a while, and I do love it. If I'm going out, I am wearing this. And this is the Estee Lauder Double Matte Oil Control Makeup. This stuff is amazing. When you put it on your face, like literally, I just want to touch my face. It's like matte. And literally, I wouldn't need a powder to set this. I still do just because I'm extra cautious. But it just feels amazing on your skin. So I have been killing this. If I'm going out, I'm wearing this, and I have no worries at all literally so I'm really glad I purchased this next on my list is of course my MAC blotting powder this would be something I probably put every month because I always set my makeup with this like the majority of the time like I've been wearing BB cream for the summertime and I'll probably do a summertime face routine um, video soon but this is in dark deep dark like honestly you can't go wrong with this as far as I'm concerned I wear this like all the time it sets my makeup and it has no color to it like not that's noticeable so I'm very happy with this on to the next next thing on my list is Shea Moisture you know I did do a product review on this and I'll put a link to it probably right here for the product review I did on this product which I'm in love with some of their products I am in love with but to start off first we're gonna go with the illuminating powder and this is in sorry this is in cinnamon Cylon and this is a highlighter and it's gonna take it closer so you can see it's goldish color and it's gorgeous and the casing for this is simply cute I'll show you the brush out of the next one but it has a mirror too so you can actually see what you're doing and I simply love it like this is another product I'm gravitating towards but as you can see it's very pigmented I love it you can see a little bit on my finger it's a very nice highlighter for a woman of color and it gives that perfect little shimmer right when you put it on your cheeks so that I'm loving followed by another Shea Moisture product and I'm using their it's another illuminating powder I use this as a bronzer Mandalay Dust if you are a chocolate sister, this is a necessity. Do you understand? It's so hard for us to find bronzers that are to contour that are dark enough for our skin and that is not our skin color. And this for summertime is just simply perfect because it has a little shimmer to it. It's not noticeable. But you see that color? It's so dark and it's rich. Uh, swab that for you. If you can see. It has a little reflectiveness to it. So on your skin it looks perfect it's glowing like literally this will make your skin glow and you can't go wrong and it's perfect for summertime because it gives you a natural glow that's just stunning for finishing on your skin so this right here is amazing it also has a mirror in it too and then it has this brush that comes with I haven't used it but honestly the brush feels really nice it's soft and I think it'd be perfect you know for right there I don't know about the contour it probably could work but I am actually in love with another brush which is in my favorites video right now and what I've been applying that with which I am loving because you know I love my Real Techniques brush but this for my bronzer is what I am using currently and this is Sedona Lace um, the FB05 and 05 and seriously take this and just brush it in oh my gosh like it's a miracle I don't know where this brush has been all my life but this is my new bronzer brush like I'm loving it for this because just laying it on laying it on it just swirls on so beautifully so this is on my favorites list for this month definitely and next 
but not this is actually an oldie I've had this for a while but I haven't been using it because I have another blush I really love but the MAC blush and this is in raisin and this is another color that just basically gives your cheeks a nice um, a nice wash to it I want to say it's a reddish with like a brown undertone and like on your cheeks it just gives you the prettiest little wash of your cheeks it warms them up but it's not too much it's real subtle and I've been gravitating towards this my face would be the BB cream and I have my contour with this and it's just stunning like I love it so this right here is an oldie that I got that I used to love and I started using it again like crazy so it's right on my countertop and I pull it to go when I'm ready because it works it gets the job done and then another oldie I had I've been using it for a while but I actually had misplaced it or actually finished it so I finally refilled this was the one I was actually using before and this is Fig Jam this is Revlon's color burst and this is Fig Jam and you can see how much I loved it because I actually finished it and this was an actual like a brownie color I want to say brownie with the maybe a little red undertone but it was more brown but it was so neutral on my lips like my normal color just enhanced it a little bit it didn't look too much it just gave it gloss and the reason I'm loving these is because my lips are super dry so to find a lipstick that's not too much for every day and that keeps my lips moisturized this is what I'm talking about and I actually have this is what I'm wearing right now not on my lips but I wear it consistently because it's a pinky color and look at it like simply and you can tell it's so creamy it's a very neutral color it's not too pigmented but on my lips my lip is a little pink wash on the bottom so it just gives it the perfect little glow it's not too much and my lips are moisturized so this is something like a holy grail I live with this because I do suffer from dry lips so this is something if you have dry lips or your lips do tend to peel this will keep it moisturized it gives your lips a wash of color but at the same time it's so creamy and my lips absolutely love it so this is a must in my daily routine and to finish it up the last thing for my video that I am absolutely in love with at the moment is my facial wipes I've been using the Olay fresh effects I'm actually using their moisturizer which I really do like right now but it is Olay Fresh Effects Everything Off Deluxe Makeup Removal Wet Cloths. This is the business. Seriously, it's the business. I, before this, I was actually using another Olay wipe because I switched over from another company because I didn't like the oily residue it left on my skin. But this right here, literally, I can just use this, wipe my face, and I have no problem going to bed. It gets off everything. My liner is the most stubborn thing to ever come off along with my mascara. This wipes it off, no problem. So if you're looking for a good wipe, this was new. I believe it's a new line from them. It has essence of honeysuckle and white tea. And whew, I love it. Like literally. I live by it. I use it every day. As you can see, there's like only one left in here, so I'm gonna have to get more. So these are my favorites for the month of June, and I hope you enjoyed watching and you liked. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. But these are the things that I'm absolutely loving at the moment, and I go to first out of all my items. And you know I do have a lot of makeup. So thank you for taking the time out to watch. If you like it, please thumb up and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good night, loves.